BG Radio here with Sproggy Wood, a game by Freehold Games. It's a little roguelike. Um, I'm in the village of Sprog, I believe, right now. Some people chilling, some slimes. Uh, there's me, little little farmer guy. I'm a clog head, apparently. Uh, there's a spider! Uh, but I've played a little bit of this so far. It came out last year, I bought it recently. It's kind of interesting. It's a nice little kind of laid-back game, but I'm playing on Savage Difficulty, and that's what's going to make this game curious very interesting because uh, it's a little unforgiving. It's a little hard. I got to cheese some sections, but yeah, this is my village. You can buy things from the shop. You can, I don't know, what store stuff. <laughs> you have items for each individual class. There's like six classes. Farmer, Archer, and Thief are the ones I have right now. But anyway, enough about it. Let's take a look at it. I am going to go to the very next level. It's kind of hard. It's called Big Tree. My goal there, I don't even know. Who cares? It's going to be to murder some stuff. I've been using the archer, and I've got a nice fire whip bow. And if I look at it, shoot a curling whip of flame that deals 4 to 6 damage. That's hardcore stuff. You need to be able to do some special effects. Or else you ain't nothing. So I'm outside a big tree right now. As you can see, it's kind of like a square or grid-based game. Uh, I take a step that costs a turn, or if I press the left trigger on my controller, using an Xbox controller here, uh, I can pass my turn and the enemies around me will move. Sometimes that's as, like essential, because uh, positioning is key. But in this case, I'm going to move. I got a scroll of teleportation that could be useful. Teleports you to a chosen space. Uh, but there's a slime coming my way, and you can see by its little health bar, it's going to take like two hits to kill this slime. And uh, I'm, you start every uh, single run at level one, you got to unlock your skills. So I'm going to wait, see so now he's next to me. Hit. Hit. And the slimes like to burst apart. Now the top slime's going to explode, so I'm going to move to the right. And I got lucky, I avoided everything, he killed the other guy. Level up, I can shoot arrows, I can roll. Piercing shot, but at level 5, lightning arrow. I hardly ever <laughs> care about the level 5 thing. It's very rare in my runs that I actually level up that much. But shooting arrow, I need the distance. I need the range. These mushrooms like to pop up. I hate them, so I murder them. The slime's probably going to explode on me here. That hurt, <laughs> but not much I could do. Oh boy, so now I got two uh, mushrooms on either side of me. Unfortunately, my fire did not whip back around to protect my my butt, my buttocks, my boobies. There's a spider nest here. I'm gonna take it out. The slime's coming my way. I don't want to deal with it. Get some money. Money's good. You use it at the shop back in the village. Uh, so here, let me show off this arrow I've got. It costs uh, those five blue stars. If you look up there, those five blue stars, that's my stamina. Uh, and as you can see, over there... <laughs> It's going to cost me one stamina to shoot a slime. So I'm going to shoot the slime right in front of me. It's going to explode. I could shoot the other one. I don't want to. So switch back to my weapon. Move. Somehow, because it moved diagonally, <laughs> I moved right into getting shot. If I had stood still, I think I would have been okay. Lesson learned. I got 12 health. Alright, I'm not exactly confident that I'm going to survive this particular run, but... I did better right there. Ugh, this sucks. I got them both. Level up. Got me some health back, I think. Roll is very good, and you'll see why shortly. Oh, see, this is why I hate mushrooms. They keep popping up like this. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this nest, and lucky for me, it took out everything. So my goal right now is I'm looking for the entrance to the next level, of the, or the next floor of this particular territory. I'm going to roll. I think it's still going to hurt me, though. It might not cost a turn. Okay, that good. Roll didn't cost a turn. Uh, mushroom! I got a haste potion for 30 turns. Enemies don't act when you take a step. Sometimes that's more important. I'm going to keep that. It gives me the cash value of the thing I was holding. Having enemies not move when I'm moving is very good. See, it seems like I would be safe right now. I'm walking, I don't see any enemies, but a mushroom might pop up at any given moment. That's how it always seems to be for me. I'm going to... Ooh, I don't know if I want to do this. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to take a step back, and then I'm going to shoot it. 
So then I can step up and see. That's thinking. That's using your noggin right there. I'm gonna shoot this guy. I'm gonna pass my turn. Stupid me, I was in the diagonal. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. The diagonals every single time. I'm gonna take that little bit of ouchie. So stepping into the web just made me lose a turn there. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot. Now he broke into two, and I think these guys are like take forever to kill. See, because I killed him, he left two blue um, squares down. They're going to each turn into a new slime. I think a new little slime. It really sucks though. I am fairly close though to. Oh, I got killed. I should have rolled. That sucked. So I'm going to um, return the map and pick a different class. And if I can't beat this on Savage, I, I might lower the difficulty just to see some uh, new content here. So I'm going to pick the farmer as the default one. So nothing special about my farmer here. But he's got different skills. So you'll see those in a moment after I stab the wrong thing, stab the nest, check the leaves, break a pot, mushrooms surrounding me as always. So you level up, I can throw my pitchfork, which is the pitchfork. <laughs> Pumpkin bomb's pretty good, you just kind of drop it down, blows people up. Scarecrow's really good, scares the enemies away. And Cornucopia, if you can get to level 5, will heal you to full HP. And if you upgrade it again, you can gain 30 bonus HP. But I haven't gotten to a point where I've actually been able to really level up the level 5 thing twice. I'm going to start with the pitchfork. Give me my ranged. So I'll move over here, stab that, and yeah! Didn't kill it, but yeah! Killed it that time. Stab this dude, stab him again. Oh boy. Wait, don't do that yet. Switch back. Okay, throw this. Move! That sucked because one blew up the other, blew up the other. Ah. Uh, okay, so this guy's gonna be coming. I'm gonna throw a pitchfork at him. Throw it again. Throw it again. And then step aside. Hello, spider. Stupid spider leaving webs all over the place. More pots. Oh, I turned all the enemies into pots. In the nearby vicinity. That's really good for me. Health potion. I might have to use that soon. Uh, restore your health to full. I will keep it for now because I don't think uh, drinking that costs a turn. We'll find out if I made a mistake. Get some money. Uh, cash that because I really want the health potion. I'll blow a turn there. Let me find the door. Okay, I'm gonna throw this. Oh, this was a bad idea. I should have moved up. It's gonna explode. I have to take the damage. Oh boy. Get stabbed. Get stabbed. And get stabbed. Uh, I'm gonna get the. I might want the scarecrow. The pumpkin bomb's really good, but I'm not looking so hot right now. Money. More money. Uh, so there's an enemy right here, of course. As always. Uh, what's the best thing to do about this guy? Because he's going to blow up in a very stupid, dumb way. Get scared. And then get stabbed. And I can probably go here. Wait. Go there. Okay, good. Careful, it worked out. It was good. Good investment. Step off. Oh, if I, if I kill him here... He is going to blow up diagonals, and I will be able to escape that wrath. Uh, I might have to scarecrow. Um, pitchfork. Step aside. Okay, I'm down to one stamina. Slowly make my way over here. Fire's gonna pop out, but I can deal with that. I'm gonna lose a turn. Stab. Stab. A lot of my oh dungarees. So you find new stuff. Oh, I've never picked this up before, so that's great. I've got more health, and that's exactly what I needed. I'm glad I didn't spend that health potion. Ah, uh, it's a dead end. So it looks like the stairway, the entryway, is not there. These dudes were just waiting to ambush anyone who walked into that dead end. Ah, oh, this is a dead end too. Looks like... Oh boy. Take the hit, there's only two. 
the door is right there. I found it. Yes. Okay. I'm inside the tree. I'm a little scared. Ooh, another health potion. So I might as well use this one. I'm glad that, like, they don't just get scrapped. I could just decide to use it right on the spot. Um, come on, spider. Quit playing with me. The nice thing about skills that cost one is that if you use them and they defeat an enemy, defeating an enemy is worth one stamina. The problem here is I need to <laughs> just do something like that. <laughs> Don't be stingy. Oh man, they popped up and then hit me because I was, uh, yeah. I might want to scare a crow just to preserve some health. Just throw a pitchfork in your butt, throw one in your butt. Um, oh, I really like this, but I'm going to have to cash it. I'm a little worried about this guy over here. Oh, jeez. I'm going to stab you. Oh, he did a big hit. Do this. Blow up those spiders. Get rid of that nest. See, once you hit the groove, it's not so bad, but there's webs everywhere. Oh, there's a health shrine up here. I need to use it at the opportune moment. Oh, I thought he was going to walk down in front of me. Sometimes the enemies don't move how I expect them to. So I'll get you. You won't be able to hurt me. You won't be able to hurt me. Stab. 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 I leveled up. Okay, so, uh, I got the pitchfork, the scarecrow. Do I want uh, hurl an extra pitchfork backwards? It's sometimes nice, but I don't think in this case it's going to be very useful for me. I can uh, make enemies fight each other for five turns would be amazing. I mean, the pumpkin bomb's great. It does a lot of damage, but I just don't know if it's as useful as... I'm going to go Scarecrow. I would love to show off the pumpkin bomb, but I'm more concerned about actually beating this level on this game. Curious. All right, so I'm going to throw Pitchfork into you. I'm going to step over here. I'm going to avoid this shrine for the moment because enemies might... Ooh, 30%. No, no, no. I think I already have this one anyway, but I want the tw plus 20 health. I don't. <laughs> it's in the shop now. I lied. I thought I'd seen it before. Maybe it was familiar to something else. Stab. Stab. Another health potion? See, use it. <laughs> but I didn't use the shrine. The shrine saves me from using my own inventory. Ugh, ugh, get him. So, my map saying go right. Head right, young clockhead. I didn't say that already. This little character's a clockhead. I think I did say that. Get stabbed. Get stabbed. Um, get stabbed! And then blow up. <laughs> so, it's always kind of good, a good strategy to stay in the room adjacent to the room or stay in the entryway where you can somehow escape. But unlike the uh, archer, I can't like dodge roll or anything. I'm gonna do this. Oh, uh, jeez. I need him to come up. Come up for me. Oh, he's gonna go the other way. What? No. Okay. I'm gonna have to wait, because he's being really stupid. Stab. 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 Move. Okay. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Oh, boy. See, that doorway, the entryways, like, save your life. Those little passageways. All the ways. Oh. See? Head for the door. Get out of my life. Okay, so it looks like, according to the map, in the uh, right above my cam there, I need to go down and to the right. Now, this does take me away from my shrine, but I'd rather have it there and not need to do anything with it. Ooh, this is bad. If I, I don't want to blow up. I'm going to Scarecrow, and then throw that, and then boom. Scarecrow's immune! <laughs> oh man, I hate these things. Why are they everywhere? Okay. Uh, I got. I won't be able to scarecrow and. Mm, I might have to take the hit here. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. And I can do this. And then that's great. Okay. You get stabbed, you get stabbed again. You get stabbed again. Big booms, Michael Bay. There's the door. Oh boy, do I just go for it? I might be able to level up, though, to level 5. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, Scarecrow. Come to... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Come to Butthead. It stabbed. Oh, no. Didn't really work out how I wanted it to. 
Oh, now it did. Boom. Oh, you're still alive. Why you gotta be so rude? Okay. I don't want to run all the way back because I'm afraid of mushrooms popping up. Alright, so I'm on the very next floor. There's another... Oh, there's a door right next to me. So there's apparently multiple floors. Every level before this has had, like, three floors. You have two normal ones and a boss one. This one looks like it might have three and then a boss one. I could go straight forward. You know, straight forward into the hole. Or I could level up. Or I could fight this red blob that's guarding the thing. Uh, get stabbed. I'm gonna have to take the hit. Might as well save my stamina. Ah, uh, boy. I think I can survive this one. I throw and then step. Yep. I dodged it perfectly. Execute it flawlessly. Uh, I gotta be level six, so I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the cornucopia. That's great. It costs three. Can't do it right now. Wouldn't do it if I wanted to. So I'm gonna step in here. There's still another guy. I'm gonna move up. He doesn't seem to care about what I was trying to trick him into doing. I'm gonna do this. That, step aside. See, Savage is no joke. You can't go to sleep on this. I mean, the first level maybe, but this is the third. Uh, I don't really want to go down the hole, because I mean, I could maybe hit level six. So, the mushrooms aren't so bad now. It's really these slimes that are giving me trouble. And not even this slime, this slime's easy. And sometimes they like leave ooze on the ground like this. So if I step on it, I'm gonna slide across everything. But I found out today, I click the stick in, you started running, you stopped running. But I don't really know what that means. I think it's just how fast I move. I'll take that hit. So wait, oh, there's enemies. So if there weren't enemies, I would test something about this running and not running. Okay, uh, hmm. Should I Scarecrow here to avoid taking more damage? I think I do. And then I do this, and then I get out of the way. Spider survived, but of the enemies to survive, I'd rather the spider did. Hello. Okay, get stabbed. Alright, so if I hit him, I think I'm okay. If I go up, yeah. So much math. So I don't know if my weapon actually gains attack as I level, I don't think it does. I think it's always 7 to 8 because of just the weapon that it is, but sometimes you'll find better weapons. Uh, you can also look at your stats over here. I should have showed that off. So I have a normal pitchfork. Uh, normal pitchfork. Yeah, I picked up these dungarees of greater vitality during this run, and you can get an accessories. I've gotten one before, like a coin, but on this run, nothing yet. Unfortunately. It would have been nice. I would love the help. Going to hit you, and then oh, I'm gonna wait. Will I actually take the damage here? He'll move, but I don't know how it's the chain reaction goes. I took it. <laughs> uh, teleport you, cash me, cash me, Trebek. So I'm in this room, nothing. Uh, I've got 20 damage on me right now. Oh, this is good. Oh, 23. So if I start it running. Okay, I see. So, if I, if you are running, if you hold down in a direction, you'll keep going. But if you stop running, you can. If you, even if you hold down, you only move once. That's good to know. Sometimes there are no enemies around. For that to, oh, actually, there was. I killed it. Oh, this enemy too. Oh, it still turns into slimes though. Uh, get scarecrowed. Oops. No, 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 no. I need to get far away and then have that happen. Oops. Wait. Okay, I'm ready. I need to go over here. <laughs> Hello. Stupid mushrooms. Every every damn day. Turn. That's that's a good one, but again, I'm keeping the health potion. Even though I have all the heals in the world right now. I don't think this is gonna be enough to level me up. I gotta kill the guys who aren't frozen. But there's a treasure chest. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Shovel of Biting Frost. That's exactly what I wanted. A better uh, weapon. Blast a 3x3 three three area of frost that deals 1 to 2 damage and freezes enemies for one turn. Works once per enemy. Once is all I need. So, 
I am going to go up here, get more money. There's another stupid little slime. I'm gonna throw a pitchfork at it. I did my three by three damage to absolutely nothing, but hey. Hello. So it's nice that when you throw the pitchfork, it also works too. That's what makes you feel like you've got some power now. Like I'm, I'm actually doing damage. It still says I'm seven to eight, but I am doing extra damage with this area of effects stuff. Like get wrecked, stupid spider nest. I think I just, yeah, I uh, went through the entire floor right here, so I'm a little weak. Um, I could cornucopia, but I can also wait. So uh, here's a boss level, I think. The clog heads are most destructive indeed. I did kill a lot of mushrooms to get here. They've already put down gentle big ick. <laughs> a big ick, it was a slime enemy from the very first map level. And they pillaged the Gotris's warrens. I did, that was the second level, I, I did do some stuff there as well. I admit that. If left unchecked, they will wreak havoc on our society. I am killing things that are trying to kill me. Yip, yip. We must think of the mushrooms first. Yip, yip. The clog heads must go. Please, siblings, hear me. Uh, I have visited with the clog heads. I have broken bread in their homes. Now, this mushroom looks a little weird. I think this is Sproggy. He's a little shapeshifter. He t he's a sheep in the beginning of the game. That's no spoiler. He's a little, little loony nutcase. You misunderstand the nature of their actions. They are a simple and peace-loving people. They value order and community above all else, and they mean us no harm. Consider how bountiful a friendship with the clogheads might be. Can we not put aside our perceived differences and unite under one common goal? Look a clockhead. One has come to plead the, play, the, the case for his people. Pay attention to how cute and peaceful it looks. It is sort of cute. Yip, yip. And peaceful looking. I thought yip yip was like a, you know, here, here, yay, 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 and nay. You know, I thought that's what it was. Is it just like a random, like, spastic noise they seem to make? You know, yip, yip. Yes, yes. Come, gentle clock, and enter our home. Meet my siblings, my wonderful mushroom brethren. Sproggy's mushroom cost costume fell off. Yep, that's him. Uh, er. Question marks. Oh, oh, oh. Why this is villainy? Yip, yip, it's a clockhead plot. How devious. Yip, yip, that is it. That is all. Let us declare war on the clockheads. Yip, yip, war. Hulk shrooms, oh, nope, nope. Like, the Avengers? Oh boy! <laughs> uh, garbage. So... These guys look like they take up four squares. So, uh, I might want to move down and then Scarecrow? <laughs> oh, he didn't move when I moved. Are they slow? Maybe they're slow. I'm going to, uh, do this. And then do this. And then do that. Oh, boy. And then do this. And then move. Uh, I don't have a lot of stamina here, either. They're probably gonna like lay some whoopings on me. Like I'm afraid to stand here and actually do combat. But what else am I gonna do? Oh boy, I can't freeze them again either. Uh, do I try my luck? Oh wait, he didn't actually do damage to me. No, he knocked me away, which is to my benefit. Okay, I gotta be really careful about... Oh, great. He's gonna try to... Okay. Nice Scarecrow here? Does he not give a crap? He did not give a crap. I'm going to... Cornucopia. Move, 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 move. Oh, crap. Move. Move, move. Get out of my way. I can kill this one. And that's the important thing about life. I got all my stamina back, though. Hit him twice. Oh, I leveled up. I think I should do that. Um, pumpkin bombs. Because I don't think... Yeah, the Hulk's rooms aren't affected by my Scarecrow. 
I think the pumpkin bomb needs to come out now. I'm going to throw this at him twice. So he's gone. Um, drop a bomb. He immediately blew it up. <laughs> oh, what the garbage. I didn't plan that out very well. What is going on, you guys? I just bombed my way out. Alright. I have enough to heal, so I'm not afraid. He's gonna knock me this way, though. Alright, I need to heal this time. I think this is just a battle of <laughs> attrition at that point, and I did it! Hulked, out hulked. Get out of my face. And the chest has the door, and I'm free. I'm out! And look at all these villagers, uh, a mushroom and a slime joined my town village. I got my class reward because that's the first time I actually beat this level. On Savage, didn't have to lower the difficulty. Got like 1574 coins. 1574. Go back. Close the curtains, open them back up. Sproggy, you goofy, you goofy nerd. That did not go as planned. But hey, I pled the clockhead case and they didn't care for it and they tried to murder me with giant mushrooms. Should have. Should have got a professional tailor. Ah, uh, they're convinced the whole thing's a clockhead plot now. Good. Good going. They will not be reasoned with how upsetting. Poor Sprog, he's kind of cute. He's got whiskers, but he's, he's doing me no favors. I did get the chest. I'd suggest returning it, <laughs> returning it, but the mushrooms would probably kill you. They tried. They didn't do it, but they tried. Might as well open it up. Ooh, I got a forge, which means I can uh, create a warrior. <laughs> Choose one. It's the only thing I can do. Bill is just so lovely. So civilized. I hope the mushrooms don't burn it down. I must think on how to appease... How, how to appease the them. <laughs> Maybe to them? Sprog Sproggy's nuts, like I said. I'm sure he intentionally misspoke. <laughs> By Racco, I must devise a plan. Racco's like a god deity in this game. Not very important. He wears sandals or something. I don't know. He's hippie. I must return, Clockhead. For now, savor the comforts of civilization. Then come find me. So I did it, and that was amazing. And I've got a lot of gold. Uh, real quick, let me actually look at the shop. You can buy expansions for your town. Like, I've already dumped two um, helpings of gold into the academy expansion. I've been gaining experience faster because, I mean, you want to level up as fast as you can when you go through these floors. I get level up health. I haven't done that yet. Uh, make items cost less from the shop itself. More shrines. More special vases. Um, then the things you found in the dungeon you can buy. Like, I can buy permanently start a run with a better weapon, um, better armor, there's, um, the coin I found, what does it do, does it tell me, wait a minute, you may re-roll items you find in dungeons one time each, apparently I found the key to the heart of the gods, you may pray at shrines twice, yeah, I remember that, I didn't really make good use of it, I think I died shortly after getting this, but, there's also some consumables, you can start with, you know, a health potion if you needed to, but 1250, I mean, you really gotta dump money into making stuff cost cheaper. So that's Froggy Wood. I was interested in this game when it first came out, didn't pick it up. I'm glad I got it now. It was on a slight discount. Cause there's a mobile version if you're interested in that. It's like $10 over there. It was $10 when I bought it on Steam, but it might be back up to $12 or $15, something like that. Uh, but I recommend it. I mean, it's, it's kind of, you know, some of these having a good run I would say having a good run takes a little bit of time but otherwise you know some of these runs can go by really fast and you save all your gold even when you die so you know a loss is not a full loss so that's Sproggy Wood thanks for watching I'm Aaron uh, BG Radio on the site uh, horrible night game curious if you like these keep watching them we love to keep making them I'll catch you later